presidential, parliamentary and local government elections may have been successfully held in Uganda, but the process is not yet over. As such, Ugandans need to observe not just the electoral laws, but also ensure the remaining exercise is peaceful. This was the appeal made by Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Judith Nabakoba, as she addressed the media in Kampala. And we call upon everyone to please remain active and also engage in the different election activities. She wants political contenders to embrace political maturity for a peaceful end of the electoral season. Leadership is a call to serve the people. Leadership is a call to listen to the poor people, but also the vulnerable. I therefore call upon all those who are elected, especially our colleagues in the opposition, to serve the Ugandans and also put their issues at the forefront. Nabakova, who is concerned with the continuous misuse of social media, urges Ugandans to embrace responsible use of the internet during and after the elections. The best thing would be to use it responsibly. Let us not use internet to incite, to intimidate, and also call for violence. The best thing would be at this moment, call for calmness, call for tolerance, call for peace. That's what we want. And let people go back to work. As for Robert Chagulanyi, who still claims victory of the presidency, even after being defeated by incumbent Yori Museveni, Nabakova has a word for him. Ugandans voted and they voted a lead of their choice. And uh, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, was announced as a person who won with a bigger percentage of 58 plus. So I, I believe that let us try to respect what Ugandans decided in that respect. As anxiety draws towards reopening of schools, stakeholders are urged to wait for an official pronouncement by government. From what we know, it is only finalists that were allowed to attend school. But in case of any changes, let us wait for His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, or the Minister responsible for education. They will be communicating. In the meantime, COVID-19 remains real. And Nabakova urges Ugandans to continue observing standard operating procedures against the pandemic. Henry Okrut. You'll be seeing.